What up, everyone? It's George Langebeer with Silverhammer Surveillance. Here at Silverhammer, not only are we security specialists, but we're also smart home specialists. Today, we're going to talk about something that kind of marries the two together. We got security, we got smart home. Let's go. All right. So again, today we're talking about marrying the smart home with a secure home. And how do you do that? So when you're talking about the smart home, there's several platforms out there. You got IF Triple T, you've got Control 4, you've got Amazon, you've got Google, you've got Apple. There's a few of them out there, smart things. But today we're going to talk about Apple specifically, and we're going to talk about HomeKit. And when we're talking about HomeKit and we're talking about securing your home, we're talking about HomeKit Secure Video. So we're going to talk about what that is, the features, how it integrates into the HomeKit app, the different ways you can use it across Apple devices. And so let's get started with the general features. HomeKit Secure Video allows you to view, record, and store video clips using end-to-end -end encryption. What does that mean? It means your security camera footage isn't exposed to any third party or even Apple. HomeKit Secure Video works with a HomeKit hub, like an iPad, HomePod, or Apple TV, and the hub allows your video to be stored locally and securely on your local network. You can store various clips using motion detection, vehicle detection, animal detection, and people detection. The people detection includes facial recognition if they are a person already tagged in your Apple Photo Library, or if you go in and name a person from a previous clip, from then on it will recognize that person by name. When your clips are viewed, they are downloaded from iCloud, which is where your iCloud storage option comes into play. We'll talk about that in a second. And they are downloaded using the end-to-end -end encryption. As far as iCloud storage goes, you just need to make sure you have an upgraded storage plan. The 200 gigabyte iCloud plan, which is $299 per month, will support one camera under the plan, and the two terabyte storage plan, which you can buy for $9.99 a month from Apple, will allow you to have up to five cameras on this service. The five cameras applies to all your homes you use with a given Apple ID. So for example, if you have a home, a second home, or a business under the same iCloud Apple ID, you can have up to five cameras spread across those locations, not five at each. So it's five across all locations that you have your that you use your Apple ID for. Both storage plans store a video for a rolling 10 days, and there are no additional monthly fees to use the service other than your upgraded iCloud storage. Even though you need the upgraded storage plans to use HomeKit Secure Video, the video clips do not count against your iCloud storage plans as far as eating up your storage. So that's kind of nice. Video from a HomeKit Secure Camera can be viewed on an iPhone, iPad, your Mac, or an iPod Touch. One of the many unique qualities about HomeKit Secure Video is no matter what brand of camera you use with the service, the interface is the same. So you can mix and match brands with compatible cameras, but they'll all work exactly the same. So the setup, features, and settings will all be identical. Speaking of settings, let's talk about that for a minute. One setting you can adjust is your recording options. You can record all motion events. You can choose to record animal events, vehicle events, people recognition events, or all the above. Also, you can control different settings for when you're home and not home. So for example, you can set the camera to not record when you're home and then start recording as soon as you leave home. You can do that for everyone in your home, anyone you have set up in the HomeKit app anyway, or on a family member by family member basis. You can also pick and choose recording options for each family member and control the permissions for each person. So for example, if you want your teenager to be able to view the cameras live, but not view the recorded footage from the past, you have that option. So the options offer you quite a bit of customization and allow you complete control over your privacy. There are also various notification options, like having the option of only being notified of camera events when you're not home. So that way you're not blowing up your own phone with notifications because the camera is triggered as you move through your home. Another cool feature of HomeKit Secure Video is how easy it is to share video. As long as you have the permission to do so, you have the share icon built into the interface so you can share video clips for security events like to the police or, or law enforcement, or you can easily share fun clips like of a pet doing something entertaining or your small child doing something entertaining. You can share that to social media or share clips with your family and friends very easily. Okay, so now that we've talked about what HomeKit Secure Video is and the general features, let's talk about some of the cameras available. Okay, so when you're talking about cameras designed for HomeKit Secure Video, it's kind of confusing because Apple doesn't actually make a camera. 
So there are several brands out there that design their cameras to work with HomeKit Secure Video, and they'll still work with their own app and their own features, but once integrated into HomeKit, they will work as a HomeKit Secure Video camera. Okay, so let's talk about some of those brands and some of those cameras. We've got the Circle View cameras made by Logitech, both the regular camera and the video doorbell. Great video doorbell for HomeKit Secure Video. We've got a complete line of cameras made by Eufy. The two pictured here, plus several others, work with HomeKit Secure Video. We've got the Indoor Eve camera made by Eve. We've got the Ecobee Indoor camera. We've got an indoor camera made by Natatmo. Another indoor camera made by Akara. And an indoor camera made by OnVis. So those are the main offerings at the moment, but they are adding HomeKit Secure Video cameras all the time. So hopefully as time goes on, we'll just keep getting more and more choices and more and more features as updates with iOS and updates with macOS progress. Okay, now that we've talked about some of the cameras you can buy for HomeKit Secure Video, let's talk about the different ways you can use it in the HomeKit app and some other different methods. Okay, so as far as how you can use HomeKit Secure Video, you can use it on an iPhone, a Mac, an iPad, and an Apple TV. Most of this video, you've seen the interface with the iPhone and the iPad, so I won't even bother there. It looks very similar on the Mac. But where HomeKit Secure Video really shines in my eyes is the Apple TV, which we'll get to in a second. But the nice thing about these cameras being part of HomeKit is you can use Siri to call up your cameras on your devices. So after I say those magic words and then designate which camera I want to see, she will bring them up, or he, depending on which voice you're using and then you can see your cameras using Siri. And that works on both your iPad and your iPhone. Okay, so let's move on to the Apple TV like I was mentioning earlier. With the latest TV OS updates, the Apple TV has become much more useful with HomeKit and that includes HomeKit Secure Video and HomeKit cameras in general. So now you can see your cameras on your Apple TV just from going to that sidebar on the menu. And so you can bring up all your different cameras, you can see them in a row, you can see your HomeKit favorites, but again, it's really useful as far as the cameras go. You can see it live, and then uh, you can switch between each one. And you can do that natively built in with that sidebar, or you can use cool third-party apps like the Home Cam app, where you can see all your cameras at the same time, and it shows different features on the, on the screen, but you can kind of see it more like a normal camera system where you can lay out your cameras in a grid like this. So with the native functionality being built in, and then third-party apps like this Home Cam app, it's really changed the game as far as how you can use your HomeKit cameras. I know here at Silverhammer, people just are always asking how they can see their cameras on their TV. Well, obviously, this is a great way to do it. So HomeKit Secure Video has that option built in. So if you're an Apple lover, an Apple and Apple TV, there you go. Okay, so let's talk about some more advanced ways you can use your Apple TV with HomeKit Secure Video, like the Logitech Circle View doorbell. So using a HomePod, which will announce who's at the door over your HomePod, which is another cool feature of the latest updates, but also your, your video doorbell will pop up on your Apple TV as you're watching it, and then you can see who's there and you can actually hear them from your Apple TV. So it's a great way to use your video doorbell. So if you're sitting at home watching TV and, and somebody rings the doorbell, you're gonna instantly get notified right in front of your face, and that just makes the video doorbell even more useful. So several cool options as to how you use your HomeKit Secure cameras. Okay, so that's HomeKit Secure Video. We talked about the general features. We talked about the different cameras that you can use with HomeKit Secure Video. We talked about all the different methods you can use it using the HomeKit app, so, such as the Apple TV. So the lot you can do with HomeKit Secure Video, but the biggest thing is privacy. Of all the different Wi-Fi options out there, Apple is the biggest on privacy. And obviously that's a big concern with Wi-Fi cameras. And so that's one of the reasons I really like HomeKit Secure Video. So after testing it myself, using it myself, we obviously try everything here at Silver Hammer. It's one of my favorites. So I highly recommend. So check out some of our other videos on HomeKit. Again, not only are we security specialists, but we're also smart home specialists. So we've got videos on HomeKit, other different smart home platforms. Check them out. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Many more videos to come. We've got Tech Talk, we've got Security Talk, and then for my loss prevention days, we share some crazy shoplifter stories. So subscribe to the channel for all the above. Hope to see you next time. Till then, peace and love.